In the 27th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, Azariah, son of Amaziah, king of Judah, began to reign. He was 16 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 52 years. His mother's name was Jechaliah. She was from Jerusalem. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father Amaziah had done. The high places, however, were not removed. The people continued to offer sacrifices and burn incense there. The Lord afflicted the king with leprosy until the day he died, and he lived in a separate house. Jotham, the king's son, had charge of the palace and governed the people of the land. As for the other events of Azariah's reign and all he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah? Azariah rested with his ancestors and was buried near them in the city of David, and Jotham, his son, succeeded him as king. In the 38th year of Azariah, king of Judah, Zechariah, son of Jeroboam, became king of Israel in Samaria, and he reigned six months. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord, as his predecessors had done. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit. Shalom, son of Jabesh, conspired against Zechariah. He attacked him in front of the people, assassinated him, and succeeded him as king. The other events of Zechariah's reign are written in the book of the Annals of the Kings of Israel. So the word of the Lord spoken to Jehu was fulfilled. Your descendants will sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. Shalom, son of Jabesh, became king in the 39th year of Uzziah, king of Judah, and he reigned in Samaria one month. Then Menahim, son of Gadai, went from Tirzah up to Samaria. He attacked Shalom, son of Jabesh, in Samaria assassinated him and succeeded him as king. The other events of Shalom's reign and the conspiracy he led are written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel. At that time, Menahim, starting out from Tirzah, attacked Tifzah and everyone in the city and its vicinity because they refused to open their gates. He sacked Tifzah and ripped open all the pregnant women. In the 39th year of Azariah, king of Judah, Menahim, son of Gadai, became king of Israel, and he reigned in Samaria 10 years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord. During his entire reign, he did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit. Then Pul, king of Assyria, invaded the land, and Menahem gave him a thousand talents of silver to gain his support and strengthen his own hold on the kingdom. Menahem exacted this money from Israel. Every wealthy person had to contribute 50 shekels of silver to be given to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria withdrew and stayed in the land no longer. As for the other events of Menahem's reign and all he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? Menahem rested with his ancestors, and Pekahiah, his son, succeeded him as king. In the fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekahiah, son of Menahem, became king of Israel in Samaria, and he reigned two years. Pekahiah did evil in the eyes of the Lord, he did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit. One of his chief officers, Pekah, son of Remaliah, conspired against him. Taking 50 Gileadites with him, he assassinated Pekahiah along with Argob and Aria in the citadel of the royal palace at Samaria. So Pekah killed Pekahiah and succeeded him as king. The other events of Pekahiah's reign and all he did are written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel. 
In the 52nd year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekah, son of Remaliah, became king of Israel in Samaria, and he reigned 20 years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord. He did not turn away from the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit. In the time of Pekah, king of Israel, Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, came and took Ijen, Abel Beth Meuka, Genoa, Kedish, and Hazer. He took Gilead and Galilee, including all the land of Naphtali, and deported the people to Assyria. Then Hoshea, son of Elah, conspired against Pekah, son of Remaliah. He attacked and assassinated him, and then succeeded him as king in the twentieth year of Jotham, son of Uzziah. As for the other events of Pekah's reign and all he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? In the second year of Pekah, son of Remaliah, king of Israel, Jotham, son of Uzziah, king of Judah, began to reign. He was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 16 years. His mother's name was Jerusha, daughter of Zadok. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father Uzziah had done. The high places, however, were not removed. The people continued to offer sacrifices and burn incense there. Jotham rebuilt the upper gate of the temple of the Lord. As for the other events of Jotham's reign, and what he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah? In those days, the Lord began to send Reason, king of Aram, and Pekah, son of Remaliah, against Judah. Jotham rested with his ancestors and was buried with them in the city of David, the city of his father, and Ahaz, his son, succeeded him as king.